see uh, AI ML as a must, not to automate you know, certain functions or jobs, but to enable a new business model for the telcos. Telcos are opening up their network. The network is becoming like a platform. And we believe that telcos, not the vendors, should be in charge of their own testing and assurance. Because what worked in the past, relying you know, on one or two vendors, will no longer work going forward. Telcos traditionally um, have been sometimes slow in introducing new services. Um, and usually the testing cycle for new technology like 5G, from what we have seen in many carriers, is around 18 months. So what we're doing first and foremost is to ensure that we shorten that time to market or what we call time to revenue. So 5G is definitely um, is, is fueling a lot of demand for our technology. Uh, we have applied it for a variety of services uh, that can also apply to new technologies today like Oran. But 5G in particular, like 5G standalone, will require an enhancing of the testing capacity. So our vision, the continuous testing, continuous validation, or sometimes we call it also um, uh, continuous testing, continuous assurance, or continuous monitoring this assurance, there's many ways that you can uh, do it, is an extension of your CICD pipeline. But it is a very important one to be automated. Um, a lot of telcos, what we're seeing today, they are focusing on automating testing, but less so on automating, automating validation. The telcos relied a lot on the vendors to do their own testing. But today, as you're going to start having you know, dozens of NFV vendors or ORAN vendors, then the operators has to take back charge. And only the telco, actually, can do very effectively root cause analysis. And then when you launch that service, actually, in production, it is important to continue assuring that We have uh, trained models in machine learning, very important, because a lot of um, you know, vendors, first they're using the, uh, you know, uh, the buzzword you know, uh, AI and ML, and a lot of times they are relying on data of the telcos to train their models. So first we have already pre-existing trained models. Uh, we believe a big part of our success has been the access to data. We have 20 plus years of relationships, for example, with the tier one carriers of the US, we have actually people on the ground working in labs, working on technologies, our own consultants. And hence, we have definitely a head start of uh, you know, a good almost two years in terms of training our models. So uh, the, hence the hashtag. I don't think a telco today can avoid ORAN. And so I think uh, regardless, uh, testing ORAN is important. And we have introduced as part of our new company, a solutions company called Realize. We've taken the Beyond product and doing lab as a service or, or managed labs. So we're telling people that, you know, if you want, we can actually do the full end-to-end -end cycle for you of testing these technologies. But another trend that I'm looking forward to a lot is the, the, the uh, you know, the intersection of edge and cloud. So there's a lot of testing that's going to have to happen when you start getting into the edge. So, you know, from the combinations of which cloud provider, which, is, which edge location, what kind of application, and what kind of telcos. So that, again, is going to open up a massive need for testing. And there is actually a 5-6x delta in cost of applications, depending on where, where you place them. So we think there's going to be um, uh, an inflection point again here, and we're starting to get more involved testing things at the edge. <music>